Let's write a C program to find area and perimeter of a rectangle. So the problem statement is given the length and breadth or the width of a rectangle, write a C program to find whether the area of a rectangle is greater than its perimeter. For example, if the area of the rectangle with length 5 and breadth 4 is greater than its perimeter, okay? Well, rectangle is actually a quadrilateral, that is it has four sides and all the four angles of the rectangle are of 90 degrees. Okay, so observe here. So area of rectangle can be calculated using its length into breadth or length into its width. To get perimeter of a rectangle, we add the length and breadth or the width of the rectangle and then multiply it with two. In other words, perimeter is the addition of lengths of all the sides of the rectangle. That's it. So length of length is the longest side of the rectangle width is the smallest side of the rectangle okay so let's write the c program and check if the area is greater than its perimeter okay i'll take floating point variables length width of course area and perimeter now according to our problem statement user need to enter the length of the rectangle and the width of the rectangle okay so I'll store the length of the rectangle inside the address of variable length. Since it's floating point variable, we use, flow, we use the format specifier percentage f. Now let's ask the user to enter the width or the breadth of the rectangle and store it inside the address of variable width. Now as we saw earlier, area is equal to length into width. Simple. We got, the length, we got the length and width, so we calculate area. So perimeter is 2 into length plus width. So let us align this a bit. Now let us check if area is greater than perimeter of that rectangle. So in that, in that case, let us print out a message to the user that is yes area that is percentage f is greater than its perimeter percentage f slash n area comma perimeter let me copy this else uh, area is not greater than its perimeter okay so let me give 12 as length and 6 as its width so area is 72 which is greater than its perimeter 36 please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video we have separate links for calculating area as well as perimeter i have used the same values that is 12 and 6 you can cross check that program so please visit the link present in the description section of this youtube video for source code notes and discussion about this topic please stay subscribed to our youtube channel and blog Share this video with your friends online and please do not forget to like this video on YouTube. Thank you.